welcome to the Perspective on Jakarta Group News Channel. My name is Florence Armain and this time I am in the presence of a very talented and controversial filmmaker known for her work that puts a spotlight on social issues such as homosexuality, polygamy and migrant workers among others. Here to talk with us about her latest work and her views on current issues, it's Nia Dinata. Welcome, how are you? Good, how are you? I hope traffic wasn't as bad. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> well, we hope we hope you'll be facing uh, two weeks of quiet uh, here in Jakarta. In I'm looking forward to that. So uh, you've been very busy. You've got a new project coming out in September. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, well, I'm I've been busy doing post production uh, for my latest project, film project, which is called the Three Sassy Sisters. Uh, the Indonesian title is Ini Kisah Tiga Dara. The, we choose uh, Three Sassy Sisters as the English title. It is inspired from the 1956 classics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of uh, our maestro filmmaker Usmar Ismail uh, with the title of Three Sisters. But the, the modern version is Three Sassy Sisters mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the girls are crazy <laughs> crazier <laughs> well you yeah, know it's in modern times it's, mm -hmm. it's something has got to uh, uh, evolve evolve from, from exactly what, what gave you the idea to actually do this remake of, of the Igadara or the Sassy Sisters uh, well actually it's it's not exactly a remake it's uh, something that is inspired from the classical mm. film uh, well I've been a fan of the film since I was small uh, the film has been rerun in uh, our national TV, yeah. TVRE, for uh, years when I was growing up. And so, um, you know, I've been just a really hardcore fan. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my partner uh, in, in the film production uh, actually had the opportunity to save the film, yeah. the 1956 classics from being rotten by moth <laughs> and all the uh, crazy temperature of Jakarta yeah. uh, and to uh, restore it in Italy with uh, the proper restoration, proper sound and it took uh, two years to finish Wow! and it's just an amazing uh, venture and experience because although I'm not there in Italy but I've been following the progress mm -hmm. and everything and I think it's really just it's so inspiring because uh, for me who loves classic films I can easily get American classics like Citizen Kane like the sound of music yeah. they, they did yeah. the restoration yeah. as well and then put it back in the cinema and did a karaoke together in the cinema mm -hmm. for the sound of music so I'm, I'm that kind of uh, <coughs> Uh, buff uh, for uh, classical films mm -hmm. and even my son can easily watch uh, Bugsy Malone right. you know but it's very hard for uh, my son's generation or the younger generation to watch let's say Tiga Dara the yeah. classic film. classical Indonesian yeah classical Indonesian movie or uh, Kejarlah Daku Kau Ku Tangkap mm -hmm. it's a very famous romantic comedy mm -hmm. So it's it's uh, it's important to really have that accessible to our younger generation. Otherwise, they won't see the old Jakarta how it looks like. Yeah. Because when you see a classical film, it brings you back to the takes you back to history, to the history, mm -hmm. to the road, how yeah. nice it was yeah. with no to traffic, the people, to, to the, the culture, people, yeah. to the culture, to how women dress. Yeah. Women dress very very nicely, elegantly. elegantly uh, the way they put their hair, the way they put their kebaya or traditional attire and mm -hmm. the kain mm -hmm. and then they ride the becha stylishly, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and it's just uh, embracing our culture mm -hmm. and our originality as mm -hmm. Indonesian mm -hmm. And is this is it restoring classical movies? Is it something that is currently going on not just for this particular movie but are we doing that for other movies as well? I think it's very sad because I think this is the first time a classical Indonesian film is being restored so by Indonesian. The first movie. The first movie being wow. restored properly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only you transfer it in from celluloid, you transfer it into digital. Yeah. That you can do it here. Yeah. But you know to restore every frame, mm -hmm. to clean every frame from moth mm -hmm. and all the 
other yucky thingy mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want to know mm-hmm. <laughs> it it takes it takes passion it takes uh, commitment it takes somebody who really uh, are kind enough in it, it, businessmen in, who are costly. kind enough it's costly mm-hmm. and the government didn't didn't even uh, chip in so this is a private sector's uh, yes. um, initiative yes. to actually restore the Gadar. Absolutely. All right, we'll talk more. We come back to your uh, movie, Three Sassy mm-hmm. Sisters, when we come back after the show break. <laughs>